My name's Brian. I figured I'd show you my 1991 Snap-on KR Series Toolbox. A uh, little history about the box. It was my dad's. Bought it around 92. Uh, he passed away in 96. My uncle kept it. Uh, it. It lived in his race trailer for about 20 years or so. Uh, I picked it up earlier this year and I'm 27 now. I was 7 then, so that's about 20 years. Uh, I start with the top. Um, I modified this. I drilled a hole, put me a power strip in there. Uh, this is my co-worker's uh, speaker. It's pretty dope. Um, run it to my, that's my cell phone stand. I set it in there and then plug it up. Um, of course, I got a couple pry bars up here. Got the short one, it's straight. I kind of like the straight. And I got the big bad boy for tracks and heavy equipment, you know, things like that. Milwaukee Fuel 3.8, my charger. Um, it's a quarter inch hex. It's the first one I got. It's, it's decent. Um, but it, I had to upgrade. Of course, my e-cig. Top drawer, I got files, punches, and chisels. Nothing real spectacular. Matco files. These are pretty good. These are Harbor Freight. A lot of this stuff came in the box. My dad had left it. Anything blue. Uh, my dad marked his stuff blue files. A lot of these were in the box when I got it. Screwdriver drawer. I got Matco. That's the Wit rebranded. Williams. This is a big set that I got. I think it was 70 bucks. These are Matco. I got number two and then the flathead. These are pretty sick. Um, Allen keys. Everybody needs some Allen keys. Cheap bits. Um, Matco heavy duty picks. To be honest, they're not as heavy duty as I would have liked, but they're still pretty sick. Uh, Matco picks. I got those at the pawn shop. Pretty sweet. Got a really good deal on a bunch of stuff. I'll show you some more. Nut driver with the female. Good tool to have. Of course, uh, breaker bars, ratchets. Um, the only ratchet in here that's not gear wrench this one I got it with that uh, other stuff I got at the pawn shop for a really sweet deal um, these breaker bars from my father's they were in the box when I got it along with these three-quarter extensions I got my half inch lug nut socket half long three-eighths these are Sun X got those at a pawn shop pretty cheap this came with my socket set uh, great pneumatic. These are Matco ADV. They're pretty cool. Uh, this is kind of my oddball pliers. Uh, crescent wrench drawer. Um, reason I picked up those other screwdrivers is because they're the old school uh, snap-on handles. As you can tell they're the same. Something my dad rigged up. Three-quarter to half. That's hilarious. That's why I keep it. You know, hose, hose clamp pliers. Woo! That's my money drawer. Uh, I got a lot of money tied up in here. Got the Matco ADV half inch. This is metric, deep and shallow. Uh, American, deep and shallow. These are ADV as well. I got gray pneumatic 3.8 set. It came deep, shallow, American deep shallow metric and it came with the swivels these are pretty cool they're a little big but they work good uh, Matco ADV swivels uh, Matco ADV Torx and Allen's a couple gear wrench spark plug sockets you know assorted adapters these are Matco ADV 2 I do not own well I do own but I'm getting rid of uh, Chrome, quarter, three-eighths, or I really don't own any or use any chrome sockets. Extra sockets, a lot of these were my dad's. Um, extras from these sets I can't fit. 42 I bought for hydraulic cylinders. I'm a golf cart mechanic, though, so, you know. Seal puller. Uh rivet gun. Golf carts have a lot of rivets. Uh, I use the, these to clean out battery trays. They have a bunch of corrosion. Random shit. 
random shit. And I keep my wallet up there. My wipes. Gotta have some ass wipes. Uh, butane. Extra snuff. Couple extra socket holders. First drawer of the bottom box. Got the rethread kit. Everybody's got these. I picked mine up from Matco. Around 150. It's a good set. Used it a few times. Torch. This Kimball Midwest guy. I told him I needed a torch. And he brought me this one for free. It's pretty sweet. A couple little test jumper wires, you don't know what that is, electrical connectors, tape, fuses, a switch, just a random switch. I got gear wrench, flex, ratcheting, uh, metric and American, and then I got the straight ratcheting, uh, metric and American. These are Sun X, they're all right. One of them's got some bad chrome. You can kind of see it. Uh, whatever. It's a tool. That's a Bobcat Special Wrench. Uh, this is my waiting to be cut drawer. Waiting to be modified. This is my battery section. I work on golf carts so you don't put good sockets on batteries. So these are the ones I use for batteries. Same with these wrenches. You insulate them so you don't get the shit shocked out of you. Uh, a couple more for you know small engine batteries. Uh, a lot of these wrenches were my dad's, uh, some of them are mine, nothing really fancy, nothing really to talk about. This is uh, my gear wrench wrenches, I got a 44 piece set, some of them are in that drawer right there that I just showed you. Pretty good wrenches, I would recommend those. This one kind of looks Down Syndrome, but these are Pittsburgh for hydraulic fittings, um, and then a couple hydraulic hose sizes they're common uh, some of those for my dad's I thought I'd put them up there so I could use them okay it's my plier drawer uh, you know the plastic pry bars you gotta have plastic pry bars lady slippers jimmy bars whatever you call them um, these are those push pin pliers I just picked this set up uh, pretty sweet I found these at the pawn shop they're kind of like straight dykes, but they don't close all the way. They were two bucks. I said, yeah, I'll take those. Uh, those cutters from my dad, they usually open plastic. Um, you know, like those, I don't know, cases or thing, packaging. That's it. Um, snap ring pliers. Got from Matco. Battery. Uh, it spreads them. The terminals that go over the post. Um, I got, what are those? They're uh, bike grips. That's what they are. Now this, these four orange ones, and these came together. Uh, these are the long pliers. I got duck bill, needle nose, 45, 90, and then these are hose pliers. And it's large, medium, small. Um, these are my father's. They're Lyman's. I haven't used them yet, but I keep them. Oil filter pliers, Pittsburgh. Really good set of pliers for Pittsburgh. These are Matco. I'm pretty sure they're rebranded. Um, channel lock pretty sure uh, it was a four piece set these four I got and then I got this one with it just to have the matching bigger pliers uh, hose cut off pliers pinch off pliers those are Matco these were 30 bucks a piece if I could have it to do over I probably wouldn't have got them um, Nipex Cobra gear wrench pivot force these are pretty pretty tough um, channel lock these are cable cutters I use these shit out of them uh, making wires for golf cart batteries these are kind of like the Nipex and if you, you don't have Nipex money you ought to pick these up these are channel lock they're 411's I want to say 410 that's what they are uh, check them out they're pretty good uh, one of my favorite sets of pliers, they strip and crimp on golf carts. I use them all the time. You know, flat bill, needle nose, bent needle nose, a little pair of scissors, dykes. These dykes are the truth, dude. I got a little pair of, what are these? Groove and tongue pliers. They were cheap. I got them. Okay, I got the Matco Impact. 
uh, half inch 29 27 69 I think uh, Matco air ratchet I really don't use this uh, it was cheap though it was used Harbor Freight die grinders um, the guy I worked for had a, a couple of these man do they just lived and lived no oil um, it's a good investment they're cheap and they li they last forever air blower tire tool uh, contraption I made um, grease gun it's actually a baking pan uh, repurposed for you know all that floating shit that you get in your air tool drawer good idea Milwaukee cobalt drill bits I recommend these I got them for 35 they're good I got the drill like I picked that up with that impact um, and then I got some bigger sockets I got these with that pawn shop deal three inch and three eight seven sixteenths and half and then I got a bunch of metric I don't use metric a whole lot but I like to have it 33 32 29 28 and then these are the two that didn't fit up there that came with my Matco set when I first purchased it okay I got gloves everybody needs gloves you know everybody's got that type of shit this is kind of funny a guy was working here he let me borrow this to study about hydraulics and uh they fucking cut them loose and the book stuck with me so that worked out well uh, armstrong pipe wrench uh, this is a armstrong three-quarter ratchet of course these are my dad's hence they're blue uh, a couple more no name um, it's a ball joint separator for uh it works great i mean great on golf carts to must have big piece of brass it was my dad's I think this thing is awesome I cleaned it up a little bit and I've been using it piece of coal roll for heavy equipment when I get the opportunity to work on it a couple of those were my dad's a chain a square a terminal connector uh, you hammer that a couple hammers I really like Harbor Freight Hammers, ball pain. This has become my number one. Two pound sledge, I cut probably five inches off of it. That's my new favorite hammer, I really like it. You see how, how long they use, usually are. It's about how much I cut off of it. The dead blow, um, that's a, I don't know what they would call it, but it was my dad's. That's a welding hammer, and I got my sharpeners and a cheater pipe. Uh, I think that's about it. I keep, that's about the way it looks. I didn't clean it up. Um, and we got that stuff. There's our workbench. Um, that's about it. That's our shop. Got the lift. Fix golf carts. <laughs>